Hello, and welcome to the Extension Archiver for DocF5. The Extension Archiver is a tool that utilizes the external blob storage API to allow us to archive or offload SharePoint content from the SharePoint content database into a different storage media. In today's demonstration, we're going to be taking a look at archiving documents within the SharePoint 2010 document library into Rackspace's cloud storage. So now let's get started. Currently on my screen, you see a document library created in SharePoint 2010. And within the document library, there are five different documents. Our next step would be to open up DocAv. So now here is the DocAv login screen. I'm just going to log in using my ID, Tony, with my password. The very first step in archiving is we're going to first create a, a logical device. So basically, a logical device consists of a physical device, which would be used by the extension archiver in which it will store the archived data. So we'll go into Device Manager, and we will uh, first add a physical device. So in order to add a physical device, we're going to change the data type to Cloud Storage, and we'll click the Add button for the physical device. We'll just enter in a device name, and then also a username as well as an API access key. Just go ahead and enter that into these fields right here. And then click the Save button towards the bottom. And now our next step would be to basically drag the physical device over into uh, the middle of the screen and also drag a media service. Finally, we will uh, select a cache storage and enter in a logical device name. So we'll just name this Rackspace CF device for the logical device name. Now we'll go ahead and save it. So it looks like it's saved successfully. Uh, our next step would be to use this logical device within an extension archiver plan. So to get to Extension Archiver, we'll go into Storage Optimization and select Plan Builder. Now with Extension Archiver, uh, what we have to do is we have to essentially build a plan to archive specific SharePoint data within our SharePoint farm. So within Plan Builder, on the left-hand side, we'll select our SharePoint farm, and then we'll navigate into our team site that we looked at just before. We'll select our SharePoint uh, document library, if we click the little I button, we'll see the five different documents that we saw in the document library at the very beginning of the demonstration. Next, towards the middle of the screen, we'll enter in a plan name. So we'll just go ahead and call this plan archive underscore cloud. After that, we'll select our logical device. So the logical device we created before, we have it in the dropdown. We'll just go ahead and select that. Next, we'll go into advanced. And within Advance, we'll select the option to add metadata column content archived. What this will do is essentially give us an indication that the content has been archived within the document library. After that, we'll go into Rules, and we'll select to archive uh, documents. And basically, we'll select to archive all documents within this document library by putting in a star. We'll go ahead and uh, save it, and we'll run the archive job. So towards the bottom, it says that it's running, and basically there's a little status bar in the bottom right-hand corner that indicates our progress. So now, it looks like our status bar reads completed with 100%. Uh, next, I want to go ahead and look at the document library. We'll go ahead and refresh the document library. After refreshing the document library, we see that each of the different documents have a small a, indicating that it has been archived. Now aside from the small a, everything else is exactly the same as before. To the end user, they could still open up the documents and also edit it. So you could just open it up and uh, include an edit into the document. Just go ahead and edit this document and save it. So although the document has been archived, the archiving is transparent to the end user we are still able to open up the document as well as edit it, and all metadata is kept intact. Next, let's take a look at what it looks like in Rackspace. 
So we'll just go ahead and uh, enter in our username as well as password to log in. And login in. We'll go ahead and look at hosting and we'll look at our cloud files. So in order to view our archive files, what we're going to actually use is a different application. Uh, the application name is Cloud Files Manager version 2. And basically we're going to do the same exact thing. Uh, we'll enter in a username as well as a Rackspace Cloud API access. So we'll go ahead and enter that in. And then we'll go ahead and browse our Rackspace Cloud files. So once we've browsed, as you can see, it lists all of our cloud files. And when we click on the archive plan that we just ran before, it shows us that we have archived our SharePoint content into several different DAT files, totaling about 2.5 megs of archived data.